Alrighty, we are going into weekend two of the Modern Warfare beta. Now, this is including Xbox and PC for your first time opportunity to be able to get your hands on uh, the Modern Warfare game, be able to try it out, see what you like, what you don't like. You've seen PlayStation 4 people play it, whether that be on stream or YouTube videos, and you've kind of seen the topics of people, you know, what they're talking about, uh, of what stuff they like and what they don't like. So now this is going to be your opportunity to get your two cents in there, get some topics in here about what you like and what you hate. Uh, honestly, to me, I really do want to know is you know with PlayStation 4's uh, weekend beta and some of the feedback that Infinity Ward got from that I do want to see if some things maybe change maybe some stuff might change maybe not um, but uh, you know from weekend one into weekend two now with a crossplay event coming on I know that's a big thing that Infinity Ward has talked about for this weekend that all platforms are going to be playing on it uh, it does make me wonder if there if we are going to be seeing any changes possible to the Modern Warfare beta when it comes to the feedback from the first weekend so that's one thing I'm kind of wondering right now now again like I said this is going to be a crossplay event now all three platforms PC Xbox and PlayStation for are all getting their time to try it out and honestly to me I'm, I'm really hoping that this is successful look crossplay is a really great idea for pretty much all games out there um, with you know no matter what console you're on I'm on Xbox I'm an Xbox main but I have friends on PC and a PlayStation 4 that I still want to play with them and I want to enjoy a game with but there's no games out there really besides maybe Fortnite um, that is cross-played where, you know, if someone is playing on PC and I'm playing on Xbox, we can play together or PlayStation 4 and Xbox. Uh, it, to me, honestly, if this is going to be successful for Infinity War, I really hope it is. I really do because this is going to be a time and it's going to be an, hopefully an eye-opening and opportunity for uh, I, other game developers, other games out there to be able to implement this in their games. Um, and, uh, and hopefully as communities, no matter what platform you're playing on, hopefully we can stick together, grow the community, keep it strong with more players you know uh, you know <laughs> no matter what platform you're on uh, so to me honestly I hope they get I, get I hope they get the feedback that they want with this crossplay beta and I do hope it is successful it's just my personal opinion all right one thing before I get into the today's topics I do want to say this uh, if anybody did catch this live stream that Infinity War did on Twitch uh, yesterday that was just pretty much them giving out literally a tidbit of information about uh, crossplay uh, for about 20 minutes and that was it I looked at I was like this is about the most pointless stream I have ever watched in my life and it just made me disappointed look you know they've gotten a lot of feedback they have a there's still a lot of questions out there on uh, on different things that came out of the first weekend of the Modern Warfare beta. And uh, it is surprising to me that they took a uh, streaming opportunity uh, with their audience and did not talk about anything, no changes, no whatnot. Literally, the only thing we've heard about is the mini-map, which, again, to me, is just a really stupid topic. I think, you know, they should just keep in a regular mini-map just from the other Call of Duty games. But honestly, we've literally not heard any feedback from Infinity Ward of any of the changes that we would like to see from Weekend 1 into Weekend 2. So, I really hope we do get that feedback. I really do. I, I Again, I really did think that that stream yesterday was completely pointless and Infinity War did. Uh, but I really do hope that we do get some, uh, some feedback and hopefully um, maybe another live stream to talk about some of the issues that we've been seeing in this beta um, up until release. And hopefully, you know, hopefully we do see some changes <laughs> made uh, in this multiplayer game. All right. Now let's get into my topic of today's video. And that is, look, you know, how are you going to prepare for this weekend how are you going to be preparing for uh you know this modern warfare beta if this is the first time that you have been playing it on xbox and pc uh you've seen playstation 4 play it you've seen the complaints you have to prepare yourself what are you going to be able to do to get ready for us now real quick before i get into that you right now uh, this is today it's wednesday tomorrow is supposed to be when the beta comes live right now you can download the beta if you've pre-ordered on xbox and pc i don't believe they've actually released any of the digital codes right now for people that have either pre-ordered somewhere else or have digital codes or whatnot um so just be aware of that check your email see if that digital code is coming to you to uh, your email and where you're actually able to get access to um the early access beta so just watch that but you can actually pre-download it right now all right First off, let's talk about settings. Look, I feel like settings in this game can make or break your experience when you're coming to this. Honestly, you want to check and make sure that your your audio, uh, again, you've seen a lot of people complain about, you know, not being able to hear certain things, audio being buggy here and there, and just really a bad experience with audio. Uh, and again, that's one of those things I really hope is, is fixed. But if you're trying to get the most, uh, the best, you know, most perfect uh, audio, uh, you know, experience of this game, uh, Headphones 3 actually helped me 
me out quite a bit. So if you want that, check out Headphones 3. Again, it's going to make everything uh, loud. It's going to amplify things a little bit. But again, one of the biggest gripes that I had in it is that it makes your friendly footsteps really loud and your enemy footsteps semi normal hearing i don't know that's just me it's again I, the footsteps in this don't make sense to me um so hopefully they're able to change that prior to launch and hopefully maybe even this beta uh you also want to check aim assist make sure you don't don't forget to check out aim assist if you're playing on console make sure you you have it to the exact um you know measurement or you know exact standard what you want to use with aim assist and aim down sights also too you want to check out and make sure that your visual is good if you don't want any uh, film grain on there you want a clear picture like pretty much everybody else does i don't think anybody wants any film grain uh, on their screen definitely make sure you take that all the way to zero um to where you're not having anything um you know bother or alter your uh, visual presentation of modern warfare all right let's talk about weapons now Honestly, in my opinion, there's only going to be two weapons that you're going to be focusing on because they're the most two powerful weapons uh, from the first weekend of the Modern Warfare Beta. And again, if we're not hearing any changes whatsoever uh, from Weekend 1 into Weekend 2, I'm assuming that they're going to be the two, again, most powerful weapons in Weekend 2. And that's going to be the M4 as well as the MP5. The, the M4 and MP5, you know, what, no matter what distance you're at, whether you're, you're long range, mid range, or short range, whatever it is, um, I, I, there's been several times where I've been long range, um, from downtown freaking people with MP5. So to me, I, I don't know what it is, what it, their stats are about those weapons. It really honestly doesn't make it really fun because the, the M4 and MP5 are so dominant in this game, um, that, uh, really it doesn't, it, honestly, there's no real point in trying out any of the other weapons because, the balance wise those are the two most powerful weapons and if you want to be successful you want to have a lot of fun in this game uh, and you want to maneuver around you want to choose those two weapons so m4 mp5 let's talk about perks honestly the ghost perk is pretty much a crutch you have to have it on if you want to stay hidden if you want to try to maneuver around run and gun like people have been talking about they, like they want to do uh ghost is pretty much the only thing you're going to be able to run because um you're going to see uavs popping off here and there whether that be a personal or a team uav uh, and if you want to stay hidden and be able to move around move around the map ghost is going to be the pretty much the only thing that you're going to want to uh, uh have on as a perk um, just because it works whether you're sitting down, whether you're moving, whatever. Um, so definitely choose Ghost if you're wanting to actually have a run and gun experience. Now, honestly, if you're wanting to go after your kill streaks, do Hardline. Hardline was really great for me, but if you want to stay on the stay off the, the radar uh, and be able to run and gun, go for Ghost. You have to have it on. All right, let's talk about one thing that I think some people are going to try out, um, which is EOD. Now, my experience with EOD, that perk, uh, does not work well in this game right now because it takes way too long to actually hack some of the devices whether they be c4 or uh, claymore it takes way too long and also to the, the the flak jacket um part of that where it actually protects you against explosive damage look if you take one or two shots from an enemy's gun and then all of a sudden a grenade explodes to you um it doesn't really protect you very much i know in other call of duty games you can take maybe one or two rounds from somebody um and then a grenade blow off but you know with that flak jacket perk with that protection it actually would protect you um through the explosion in this game not so much so Again, if you're wanting to run EOD, honestly, in my opinion, it doesn't work out as much as protection as I would want it to. Um, but, I mean, there's a laundry list of different things from, you know, Scavenger and all other perks in that uh, perk one to try out. But, again, try out EOD. See what you think about it. Honestly, I, needs it, I think it needs a buff. But uh, to each their own, I guess. All right, let's talk about ways to actually be able to play this game. Look, it doesn't matter what uh, kill streaks you run. Look, in this game, kill streaks don't actually uh, recycle. So there's really no point, I feel like, um, in a game that... Uh, I mean, if, if you're not being rewarded with staying alive as long as you can and to cycle through your kill streaks, um, there's no real point in actually running some of the high kill streaks. Running UAV, personal UAV, uh, whether that be the cluster missile or whatever. Hell, maybe you want an attack chopper. Honestly, to me, it, it's just, it baffles me that there's really no incentive to try to stay alive as long as possible, be able to move and whatnot. Um, so camping is going to be a big thing. You're going to see a lot of other people going to do it. Um, trying to find out what those power positions are around the map. Look, you have a ballistic shield that you can throw down and they have these power positions around to where you're actually able to um, have a lot of vantage points over the map with the bad spawns and the way the maps are um, being able to find out where those power positions are to where a lot you're able to lock down lanes is going to be a, a lot of focus in your gameplay don't 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 look to too many players actually playing the objective in just my personal opinion you don't really see too many people playing the objectives in this game uh, and honestly really look 
out of the out of the details that I can give you guys about the weapons, the perks, uh, the way to play, and also your your settings in this game. Look, I think Infinity Ward is wanting to get a lot of feedback from this, not only with the cross warm uh, cross play uh, compatibility, but also too with the game wise. I think you've had a lot of people give their opinion on on the game from PlayStation Four side. Now it's the Xbox and PC's turn to kind of give their feedback as well. Um, but again, like I said, we've not heard very much from Infinity Ward on some of the changes that, as the audience, we would like to see as their customers, we would like to see some of these changes, whether that being run and gun, and more incentives on being able to maneuver around the map, um, whether that might be. Look, there's two different types of game styles. It's going to be either camping or running and gunning. Right now, this game literally focuses on one uh, current play style. So, uh, to me, honestly, I, I really hope we do get some feedback from Infinity Ward after this event, or hell, even hopefully we maybe do see some changes in Weekend 2. We don't know yet because Infinity Ward really hasn't talked about it yet, but honestly, look, this is you playing the game for the very first time, whether that Xbox, PC, or PlayStation 4. Give your feedback. Let your opinion know to Infinity Ward. Again, they want to know. Look, we are the customers of this game. We want to let them know that Hey, even if we might not have bought the game yet or, you know, we, we want to play this game, we want to get more people introduced to it, and we actually want to recommend this game to more people, um, these would be the changes that would hopefully help that, help their studio and help their game be able to sell a lot more copies um, than maybe it already has. So, guys, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about it. Let me know what you're going to be doing to prepare for this weekend, for Weekend 2, whether what platform you're playing on. Are you excited about the crossplay? Is this going to be something that you're going to be able, well, you know, excited to try out, whether you're on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 4? Let me know in the comments below. And also, too, again, let them know what your opinion is about this beta. Let them know, um, you know, whether that be on Twitter, YouTube, whatever. Give your feedback to Infinity Ward. That way, you know, we get the fun experience that uh, hopefully a lot of us, our players, are wanting to have come October when this game fully releases. So, guys, have a great rest of the day, and I will see you guys all next time.